In this video I'm going to solve some trig equations using my visual trig circle. Here we have our first equation. We solve it in two stages. The first stage is easy. We just treat the cos x as if it was x. So we write it down. 5 cos x plus 3. Now leave a space for working for the equals. Equals 0. Now the first thing we do to that equation is we get rid of that plus 3. So the opposite of plus 3 is minus 3. So take 3 across, off both sides. And we're left with 5 cos x equals minus 3. We now have got to get rid of that 5. It's multiplying. So do the opposite. Divide by the 5. So we divide the other side by the 5. And we're left with cos x equals minus, if we do that, you can do that on the calculator or if you know what you're doing, so it's minus 0.6. So now we get into the, the circle. Use the same circle every time. Draw a decent sized circle. We need our axis. Now we know it goes to 1. The biggest you can get for cos and sines 1. So put 1's there, put minus 1 minus 1 and the circle going around starting from 0 we go to 180 and we come back to 360 right so we know that sine is the height cos is the length and tan is the gradient. In this case we're doing the length and the length is minus 0.6. So if we go along the length axis and it's not positive 0.6 it's back 0.6. Now it's a diagram so it doesn't matter where exactly you draw it but somewhere about there and we draw a line through. So we can now see our two answers because we're only going between nothing and 360 so we're going around the circle once. So we'll get two answers there and the next thing is to use a calculator. Now don't put in the minus because that gives you the angle there. We want the angles in there so put it in as plus. I'll just write that down just in case you're checking it. So we use cos x plus, right? So we're going cos x equals nothing point six. So we now take the calculator and we've got to get rid of cos, so it's inverse cos, so you go shift cos point six equals, and we get 53.1. So x equals 53.1. So that's not one of our answers because that's the angle in there. So 50 3.1 there and 53.1 there. So what's that there? It's 53.1 before the 180. So we're going around nothing to 180. So you can see it's 53.1 before the 180. So it's 180 minus 53.1 equals, and if you take that away, you can do it in the calculator if you're not sure, but you should get 126.9. And that's one of our answers, so we can actually write that down. One of our answers is 126.9 degrees. And the other one is past the 180. So we're going 180 add on 53.1. So we get uh, 2. 33.1 degrees. So our other answer is x equals 233.1 degrees. So it's easy to see exactly where we're getting our answers. There's no messing around. The equation we have this time is 3 sine x minus 1 equals 0. So we start off the same way. We treat the sine x as if it's just x. And it makes it a really easy equation to start with. We've got 3 sine x minus 1 equals 0. 
We've got to get rid of the minus 1, do the opposite, plus 1, do it to both sides. We now get left with 3 sine x equals 1. When we've got 3 to get rid of, it's multiplying, do the opposite to get rid of it, divide, so you could do the same to both sides. And we get sine x equals nothing, point three three three. Okay, so we've got to put that on. We need a, circ a visual trig circle. So we do a circle and put our bits in. Remember, it goes up to 1, back to minus 1. That's all sine and cos could do. Even when you're doing tan, put these bits in. And we've got nothing through to 180 and back to 360. It's sine this time, so remember, sine's the first one, sine is the height. Always remember that. So we've got a height of 0.333, so about a, th a height to a third, so put it across somewhere. Don't put it too low down, make it, it's a diagram we're doing, we want to be able to see it. So our height's there, and you can now see where our answers are going to be. It is plus, so we are going to get that angle in there. You don't need to do anything. It's not a minus, so you just put it straight in as that, and that'll actually give us one of the answers, because that's going to be the angle in there. So we just go shift sign to get rid of the sign to get our x, and we're doing uh, 0.333, or you can put in a third if you like, to get it more accurate, but 0.33 is accurate enough. And we get... 19.5. So if we put x equals 19.5, it's 19.45, round it up to 19.5. So in there we have 19.5, 19.5. So it's easy to find the first one this time because it is, it's from nothing across 19.5. So the first answer is 19.5. So our first answer, x equals 19.5 degrees. The other one isn't quite round to 180, it's back 19.5. You remember, you're going round to 180, you're back 19.5, so we get 180 minus 19.5. You can do it in calculator if you like. It's uh, 160 uh, 0.5, and that's the other answer. X equals 160. Point five, And that is it solved. No messing around. We're just asked between nothing and 360 and that's our two answers. There's nothing, no answers in the bottom. The last one we're going to do is this equation here. So we can just get started. Treat the cos x as if it's x. So we get 8 cos x minus 2, leave a space for working, equals 3. We've got to get rid of the minus 2, so we add 2 to both sides. So we get 8 cos x equals 5. We've now got to get rid of the 8, so we divide by the 8, divide by the 8, and we get cos x equals and it's 5 eighths, so we go 5 divided by 8 equals, and we get 0 0.625. And it is plus, remember if it is minus, for the next stage you've got to uh, change it. But we're straight on to the circle. We've got 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. 0 through to 180 and back to 360. These are the only ones you put in. If you put the other ones in, you can get confused. Now, cos, sine's the height, cos is the length. And we need a length of 0 0.625. There's the line there, so the length is positive, it's out there. Remember, it's a diagram, so it doesn't need to be exact, so I would put it slightly more than half, so it is reasonably right. So it's there, so draw your line through there, and you can see your two values there. Now, get your, uh, do your shift, cos, and uh, I'll just do equals since that'll keep it in. And we get x 
equals 51.3. So now we just go straight to the circle, put in the 51.3 in each of the places. You can see that that is, it's just round to 51.3, so that answer is 51.3. And that one there is back from 360. So it's almost at 360, so it's 360 take away 51.3 and that gives you uh, 308.7 so our answer is x equals 51.3 degrees and the other answer is x equals 308.7 and that's how easy it is i'll now give you some examples to do it's the usual Press pause and then you'll get your uh, solutions after. Press pause, attempt the questions, then press play to get the solutions. If you didn't get the same answers, then have another look at the video.